Jamie Morton discovered his dad had written an erotic novel and instead of screaming and running away, he decided to take it to the world. Coming up with a podcast series called My Dad Wrote a Porno, where he reads a chapter each episode while his friends provide commentary. Here's a little bit from chapter one. The interviewer resumed his questioning of her CV and after about five minutes asked her to remove her knee length skirt. <laughs> Belinda stood up, removed the offending garment and passed it with some surprise to the MD. Surprise! She's removed everything else. Why is she not questioning any of this? Why is she not... The offending it? garment. She's got a skirt on. Underneath she was wearing a skimpy black thong and sexy black stockings, which she didn't apologise for. <laughs> I felt the need to apologise and I just haven't about my skimpy underwear. After all, she was an upmarket woman. I mean, we've established this. <laughs> Would you please welcome Jamie Morton? <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, welcome. welcome. I'm welcome. very good, thanks. How are you? It was great. Very excited having you on. Thanks. The podcast is, is amazing. Now, I've always, I've always found that writing porno is a very private thing. <laughs> <laughs> Each to your own. <laughs> How did you come to find your dad's masterpiece? Well, he never actually told me that he was writing erotica slash porn. Um, he just said that he was writing a book, a novel, which I thought was a great thing for a retired yeah. man to do, yeah. to be honest with you. Um, why not? He said, I've written it. I'm going to send you a few of the chapters. It's fine. Great. <laughs> Fast forward three weeks, in my inbox, Belinda Blinked. Interesting title of a, of a swashbuckling pirate story. <laughs> Um, turns out the first sentence is the job, the job interview had just asked her to remove her jacket and silk blouse and, and, I, and I died a little bit inside. Like, OK, this isn't a James Bond spy thriller. This is porn. Slammed it shut, had a beer, reopened the laptop and was like, this, I've, I've, I've just got to read it. Yeah. And I realised it was the most terribly written, <laughs> dramatically spellings off... And as for the sex, just don't even go there. Um, and I had to share it with the world. It, it's, just, it's just too good. I think it's it fair is. to say, if you're writing erotica, you better get the spelling right. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> you know I mean? very important. Um, but you keep your dad anonymous because he, yeah. he uses a pen name, which is, of course, Rocky Flintstone. <laughs> Rocky Flintstone. <laughs> Which is, I mean, wow. It's not so much my, it isn't so much us keeping him anon anonymous, but my mum <laughs> keeping right. him anonymous, I think. But yeah. how, how anonymous can he be? Because everyone oh. knows who you are. I know, so surely right? they can I join should be Jamie Jetson or yes. Jamie Flintstone or something. Yes. So um, all these friends, all your friends, everyone who might know him must know he's done this now. He tells everyone. <laughs> So he made up these little business cards, oh which God. is literally a naked woman reclining. <laughs> and rockyflintstone.com. And we're going to restaurants. The waitress. There you go. Enjoy that. Why are you telling a waitress to... Like, also, why are you giving your waitress just a picture of a naked woman? That's not OK. You just spoke about your mother before. Yeah. Does, what does your mum think? And does she make an appearance in the book? Has she got a name, a pen name? Tash. No. <laughs> no to all that. Um, no, she's, she's not in the book. No. At all. Are you and sure? the reason I know that is because she's not a Picasso drawing. <laughs> because my dad has... A, he, he struggles with anatomy. He talks about grabbing people's cervixes. That's not a thing. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. You know, one of my favourite lines is that someone's nipples are described as being as large as the three-inch rivets which held the hull of the fateful Titanic together. Turning me on. My mother's not in this book. No. <laughs> that a little bit like Donald Trump might have read it once. Though. Honestly, the similarities, oh, except my dad writes porn, he runs the world. Yeah. <laughs> Shock. Like, is, is it, does it suit your dad's personality? Is that kind of jokey, flirty guy? Or is it completely like a 180 from what he's like? <laughs> oh, he's a flirty guy. Is that right? Uh, no. I mean, no. He, he's, he's, he's very um, creative in his own skin, shall we say. Yeah. Loves a harmonica. He's from Northern Ireland. Loves a harmonica. Always is, like, playing that at family events. Loves to sing Whiskey in the Jar. But I never thought he'd write porn. And I don't think you can ever prepare for your... No. Parents to start writing erotica. No. It's been an interesting journey for me. And yeah. there's, there's, there's not a lot of like sexual t build up or sexual tension or foreplay in the no. scene. Like you said, the very first chapter, the very first book, she's undressing. We're straight in there. Straight into <laughs> no characterisation either. <laughs> no plot. I mean, just get straight into the sex. Yeah. 
<laughs> and you, you're coming back and playing the Opera House. Yeah, two nights at the Opera House, wow. plus the rest of Australia. It's insane. In, I think it's in August. So how does your dad yeah. feel about his, his grubby little work, you know, gracing <laughs> one, of the, one of the great, you know, opera th houses in the world? I mean, I one of the most iconic buildings in the world is hearing the worst literature ever <laughs> written. <laughs> I think it's a marriage made in heaven. Um, do you, he's thrilled. Do you act it out? Or, like, or does the, what? Well, I just mean, like. <laughs> no, honestly. Do you just sit there and do the podcast in front of everyone, or do you do. We is don't. there movement? Not, we do. I, I don't know what we'll, I'm meaning to ask. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> Many people act it out. We get people from the audience to come and act it out. People come dressed up. Wow. People are so invested in this. I'll be a world. cervix. There you go. If you <laughs> I'm going to grab you from the audience. I'm going to pull you up. Yeah. I think it's time for us to go, kids. <laughs> so many Sorry. people write into us. We've got Megan on Facebook who said, if I'm ever giggling on public transport, it's usually because I'm listening to that podcast. So yeah. there's a lot of love for it here in this country. To find out where you can see My Dad Wrote a Porno Live, head to the links page on our website. Would you please thank Jamie Morton. <laughs>